AER is a very technical company. You know, we, we try to make the engines as light and as racy as they can possibly be. It's very easy to keep throwing weight at the problem until all the problems go away, and then you've got a boat anchor in the back of your car. And that's, so that's, I suppose that's what AER is. We're a, a technical company who have worked very hard to make our very light, technically advanced products durable and reliable for sports car racing. Um, with the turbo uh, over a normally aspirated engine, um, the advantage it gives, uh, the, the technical term that most people refer to it in is the area under the curve. And at the top end, the turbo engine is similar to a normally aspirated engine. The, the governing bodies ensure that's the case. The, the restrictor you're given, your boost limit, the, you, know, you, you will deliver a very similar amount of horsepower for a given set of rules as a normally aspirated engine. Um, but where the turbo engine comes into its own is, is on corner exit and lower down in the torque curve, lower down in, in terms of engine speed, because you can artificially in, increase the torque by the, your range of available boost target. So the, the, uh, the turbo engine is typically described as having a fatter torque curve. So, uh, and sometimes that, that there's too much torque, which is where the drivability and the interface with the driver comes in is that we can actually choose how much torque we have exiting a corner. Whereas a normally aspirated engine, the, they don't have as many tools in the box. You can, you, can modif you can modify the ignition angle, that's quite subtle. And on a normally aspirated engine, you can close the throttle in a, a drive-by-wire system. And that's one of the big advantages of the turbo engine, is that we can have this huge fat torque curve, but if it's not required, such as the hairpin at Sebring, which is notorious for grip and then getting out, you, you can turn the power down to give the driver the confidence to put, the, put the, the pedal all the way down and rely on the systems. The, the driver still has to drive, you know, you still need a professional racing driver, it's, it's not fully automated, but you, you, you have a margin of safety where the driver can press the throttle pedal 10, 20, 30% too far, um, and the car will, will behave. And after each session, there's generally a dialogue with the driver. If there's anywhere on the circuit where he feels the traction control is too intrusive, slowing him down on corner exit, or, or not enough. You know, he feels that um, the car would step out too easily if he were to, you know, have not lifted off the throttle. So, and the, the tools in the box, they're, they're quite extensive. We can tune traction control, against uh, circuit distance, so you can do a specific piece of tuning for a, for a corner. You can tune it against gear, against calibration switch position. Uh, you know, there, there's, a, there's a lot of tools in the ECU.